In this video, we're going to talk very briefly about JDBC. So what is JDBC? JDBC is the Java Database Connectivity API, and it is the standard way for database, as it says, database independent connectivity between Java as a programming language and a wide range of databases, like SQL databases, usually SQL databases, and other tabular data sources, such as spreadsheets. So an easy way, I think, to understand this is to start with a diagram. So if you ha start with your Java application, so in our case we're talking about obviously the ICFM system which is written in Java, and when it needs to talk to our DB2 database, so uh, down here let's imagine G DB2, what it does is it goes through a JDBC API usually, and what that does is it abstracts away the, all of the actual commands to DB2. And it does that by exposing to the Java developer some basic commands that he does not need to, um, he doesn't need to know the DB2 commands because these a, this API is sort of standardized for him. So the same commands here can work for these different databases. And the way it does that is what, through what's called a JDBC driver. And that usually happens through a manager. But the JDBC driver is really important because it is doing the heavy lifting. It is doing the calls over to the database. And the way this uh, works is that JDBC has what are called types. So it's gone through, or a, it, has an I, it has an API and it has types. We're going to first look at the API, then we'll come back to types. So the API itself has gone through uh, multiple changes since 1997 when it started, uh, and it has multiple classes. The JDBC classes are contained in Java package and Java.sql and Java.sql. Um, essentially, the earliest version was 1 and then went to 2, not surprisingly, all the way up to 4.2. And the latest version for JDBC uh, 4.2 was released to of, of the Java standard runtime, 2.2.1, and part of uh, the standard edition 8. Okay, Th those are the API versions. And if you noticed in our diagram here, the type of the driver is independent of the version of the API that the driver supports. So you could have a type 3 driver that supports the version 4 API or a type 4 driver supporting only version 3. So what is a type? Okay, let's go down here. So a type is not actually software. It's more like an approach. Um, you started. It started with type one, and then on to type two, three, and now we're on uh, type four. Um, the idea here is that in type four, you have. Let's look at this in terms of a diagram. This is essentially a type four diagram. But if you want to see the actual types, this is a better view of that. So here, what we're looking at is you have some application. So in our case, ICFM, it goes through the JDBC API like we uh, just saw, and then the drivers come into play. So in type type one, they essentially were talking to an ODBC driver, and then the ODBC ODBC driver went through this DBMS um, call level interface, which then essentially talked to the database. Now in type two and three drivers. This OD, the ODBC drivers uh, may or may not be involved. For details of that, by the way, you can see down here. So starting three, starting with version three, JDBC has been developed. This is the API, but that's different from the type. The type will look like this: the pure Java driver that talks with the server-side middle middleware that then talks to the database. So there is a middleware piece in the case of a type three driver. Now. The type 4 is more what we use. So let's go back here and we'll look at that. So the type 4 sort of dispenses with ODBC. Actually, type 2 and 3 really do too. Uh, but type 4 doesn't have an intermediate layer. And that's the important thing. Type 4 goes directly to the database. So it can go directly to uh, DB2 in our case. And that's the important thing. Here is another diagram showing that. So again, in the case of you have a JVM, so that's your Java virtual machine, there's some application and the application then uh, sends out a you know, message or using the API and then the driver, the JDBC driver manager comes into play. And then in the case of a type four driver, it then goes and talks to some, some SQL based server or source. Uh, 
and uh, here is a quick recap of, uh, of what the APIs look like through time. But uh, essentially, in the case of DB2, what you have is something called a JCC, and that stands for a J Java Combined Client. And you can see here, JCC is DB2's JDBC implementation. So there are two drivers here. There's db2jcc.jar and there's db2jcc4.jar. The db2jcc includes functions in the JDBC 3.0, and that means the API 3.0, not the type 3. Uh, it's JDBC API 3 and earlier specifications. If you plan to use those functions, you would use JDB, uh, db2jcc.jar, and in the case of the J db2 jcc4 you're really talking about the api here so jdbc4.0 and later and if you're familiar with another i2 uh, with an i2 product called analyze you do in fact install the db2 jcc4.jar in order to to get the analyze application to talk to the db2 server so hopefully that should clarify what is happening First of all, with JDBC, what that is, and then secondly, how it's used from a high-level standpoint, and then hopefully that also distinguishes between what an API version is and then what the types the, or approaches that the API um, is, is using to talk to the database.